<laughs> Welcome back to the Ben Breakfast Show. And if you're just tuning in, I'm Kalisa Johnson. I'm Manny Sapon. And this morning we've been speaking about the s newspaper this headlines. Was. We've been talking about Donald Trump and his latest um, you know, bid to challenge the overruling second time yeah. <laughs> of <laughs> this Muslim ban that he is called that he is saying is a not a Muslim ban. However, for the second time, this has been challenged by a Supreme oh. Court judge who has said that he had to refer to Donald Trump's initial context in which the ban came about. And um, referring back to his original statements during his campaign, he said that he would ban all Muslims. So that is the basis upon which this new um, amendment, should I say, of the original one that was passed is mm. now and I mean stopped. Donald Trump mm. of, course, of course is a controversial figure mm. but here in the UK we do have our own uncertainties in terms of uh, our political uh, going forwards what's happening with the nation there's a lot of uncertainty in terms of what's happening in free exit what does that mean for people business owners that uh, EU, EU migrants that own properties and businesses here in uh, hospitality industry experts Definitely. also predicting a bit of chaos if if EU citizens don't get the best best uh, rights in this deal. Exactly. And we're talking about money and mm. we, talk, we have our very own well, first say, guess of the day. Right, <laughs> let's, let's say a financial expert, <laughs> a creative writer, the author of The Smart Money Woman. Hi. Beautiful, Hi. lovely lady, we <laughs> have Areze Ukwu. Yes, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. Yes, you did a oh. really Yay. good job. <laughs> welcome to the Ben Breakfast Show. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh, you're Areze so, so welcome. Ukwu. Thank so, you. So, of course, we are talking about your book, The Smart Money Woman. Woman. Well, but before we get Freaking into, into all of that, freedom. you know, we played a clip earlier of um, the Commonwealth Africa Summit that mm. was held over the well, past three days. Mm. And um, in one of the, the segments, or one of the topics of discussion was woman empowerment, empowering yeah. women. And I think it's so, so great that you are here <laughs> to talk about uh, personal um, finances finance. from an African Some woman's perspective. You know, Such So tell us a little bit about your background and yeah. why you decided to write a book. <laughs> okay, so my background is in finance. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Aston Business School for my first degree mm -hmm. and then UCL um, for my second degree. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Nigeria, worked in financial services for a while, mm -hmm. and then basically got to a point where I realized that there was a gap in the market because just like you're saying, um, financial empowerment for women is really important. Um, but I found that, you know, I was working in financial services, I had this big thing happen to me in my life and I realized, oh my God, if I've been saving and investing, but clearly not saving and investing enough, um, and having to sort of move house, mm -hmm. do um, with a one-year-old child in tow wow. and, you know, buy new furniture, all of that. It was really expensive and it was a wake-up call for me. Mm -hmm. Like, and I started thinking, listen, if I'm not financially prepared for this kind of emergencies and I work in financial services, oh, well, yeah. what about oh, women yeah. who, you know, Average, don't yeah. have that, you know, sort of like money mm -hmm. mindset mm -hmm. and no one's teaching anyone in my sort of generation mm -hmm. who, you know, millennials, we're very weird. Like, we, we like we like the good life. Mm. We do. Um, <laughs> but we, we don't do. like we people talking hard. us. Yeah, we bought hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we don't like people talking to us about money in a very preachy way. Sure, yeah. Like, all the, do, don't do this, mm. don't do that. We think we know what, how to exactly. handle yeah. we really don't. But we really don't. Everybody really wants don't. to be a boss. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, mm. nobody is teaching. So we're focusing on earning money, but we're not mm. focusing on keeping it or yeah. growing it. Exactly. So I really yeah. wanted to, you know, I started the whole smart money brand mm -hmm. based off of the fact that millennials still think really differently we're very smart mm -hmm. but if you want to tell teach them a topic like you know financial education mm -hmm. or whatever you have to be you have to say it in a language that they will understand so the book is basically um, it's fictional yeah. so it tells the story of five Nigerian girls okay. their personal finance mm -hmm. journeys and it has smart money lessons at the end of each chapter so yeah. it's it's relatable it I love that yeah. that's a great idea I particularly <laughs> love <laughs> I have it. She's very fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> she lives a fabulous it's life. life. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the book is practically an African girl's journey to financial, financial freedom. freedom. Yeah. It, I think that is that's fantastic because I feel like I I personally have uh, 
sisters and cousins that could yeah. do with a little with bit more education <laughs> about <laughs> money. You know. yeah. It's like you said, you've hit the nail right on the head. Mm -hmm. We, the millennials, millennials, we don't we don't like to talk about, about money. money. We don't, but it, we but don't know necessary. how to keep money. Yeah. We, we yeah. probably do know how to make money, money but, but we don't not, know how to yeah. keep money. Because exactly, yeah. you know, like in Africa, it's it mostly like the focus is on making money, money. because most people are poor. Mm. So it's just about getting out of that poverty. Mm -hmm. But what you find is is most people go from being really poor to entering the middle class mm -hmm. but because that financial education hasn't been taught um, or hasn't been imbibed mm -hmm. we find a lot of people who are living from paycheck to paycheck Patri yeah. so mm -hmm. you, they've so you find when maybe you were a student mm -hmm. you start earning a little bit more money yeah, or when you're a student, you're complaining, I don't have money, I don't have money. You get your first job, I don't have money, I don't have money. Five years later, you've been promoted a few mm -hmm, times, mm -hmm. but you're still in that space because your consumption has risen to um, meet your income, so mm -hmm. you're still broke. Mm -hmm. And you haven't saved anything or built up assets that mm -hmm. can you know, provide you with a financial future. Of course. So in your opinion, you know, as mm -hmm. I mentioned, it is vitally important for not only women, but particularly African women yeah. to be able to be empowered through finance, yeah. th through financial freedom. Because again, we're not living in you know, our mom's times where yeah. we are I guess financially dependent on, on our husband yeah. or uh, a man to, to, to bring in the finances and we are mm -hmm. just homemakers. You know, there's nothing wrong with being, being a, homemaker. a homemaker. Many women have been so instrumental in their children's life mm -hmm. in that way. So it is a blessing for them to yeah. be able to do that. However, for the modern day young woman who <laughs> is saying, okay, well, I don't want to be waiting on a man for, you know, to get five, ten pounds from, you yeah. know, or 150 pounds yeah. from, whatever. Yeah. I need to have money on my own. What are some of the steps um, in the book, without giving too much too away, much you away. Know, because I know that we ha you have an event yeah. uh, coming up <laughs> that is um, uh, supporting, uh, that is centered around this. Yeah. Without giving too much away, what are some of the ways in which, um, maybe three ways, mm -hmm. in which women, especially young women, can um, get themselves financially <laughs> okay, I think first of all, the first thing I'll say to anyone, man or woman, mm. it, it starts with a money mindset. So you have to, I always say, the way you spend 10 naira is the way you'll spend 10 million. Mm -hmm. Because true. people always say, oh, you know what, I'll save and invest when I have more money. Mm. But the reality is you don't. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the mindset that even when I have a little, I have to pay my financial self first true. before I start to spend. Because what happens is if you don't do that, um, you you end up becoming a revolving door for your money. So mm -hmm. it's about starting with a discipline um, to put something aside, mm -hmm. to build assets mm -hmm. that will um, provide you with a financial future. Um, I think funding your goals, you know, people always say, oh, um, I can't, I don't know how to save. I don't, I think it becomes more fun when you're able to sort of articulate what your goals are. Because a lot of us aren't self-aware. We don't know what we want mm -hmm. because we think we know in a general sense, but I think if I asked you or mm. I asked you, mm -hmm. you know, what your top three goals were mm -hmm. for this year, they'd probably be slightly different. Mm. So, <laughs> you, know, you know, funding yeah. your goals, like looking at it that way, mm -hmm. like setting, say, three goals for yourself financially. These are things I want to do and then putting money aside towards those things. Mm -hmm. um, I think even with all this, another thing I'll say is invest. We're really young. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a time to take a risk. It's mm -hmm. a time to take advantage of, you know, your opportunities. Mm -hmm. We're complaining about Do Donald Trump and, you know, a lot of, if, even in Nigeria, we're in a recession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about all kinds of things all the time. But instead of complaining, we need to figure out what problems am I you know, equipped to solve mm -hmm. yeah. that can create value so that I can make more money. Because mm -hmm. the way I see it, you know, it's good what's happening in America, all the uncertainty, because it mm. means Africa now becomes a rife market for them to come and invest. That's, yeah. that, that, so that's, that's an interesting, yeah. I've never yeah. actually thought about it in that way, because, I, I mean, being, being American mm. and Trinidadian myself, yeah. so I have that duality where I'm mm -hmm. kind of like, one foot in, <laughs> one foot out, you know. Yeah. However, um, it's at, an opportunity for us. You know, I, know yeah. I never thought about it. Because think way. about yeah. it. Yeah. Ten yeah. years yeah. ago, we'd never expect that these sorts of crazy ideals would be coming out of America. True. We'd Very thought true. They were way, yeah. you know, ahead. Yeah. But I, I think with all the uncertainty mm -hmm. that's going on, a lot of f foreign direct investment is want, going to want to look to Africa. Definitely. That seemed so uncertain yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So people should be thinking about what opportunities mm -hmm. are there. How mm -hmm. can I monetize them? 
and I mean, yeah. Yeah. you could. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm I'm hanging on your every word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good with money. I mean, I'm like I'm like every other you should buy the guy these days. Mm -hmm. My 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 money just comes in like the whole yeah. comes in and mm. goes out. It comes in, and goes mm. out. Mm. So I really would like to get more <laughs> yeah. more more uh, education yeah. on how to maintain my money, how to keep my money, yeah. and particularly how to invest my money, especially money. Especially money grow. Off of, the, off of what you've just said, I was actually going to ask you, you know, especially from a young person's um, mm. point of view, I know we are so used to hearing, um, excuse my, my um, <laughs> you know, uh, but we're so used to hearing older men yeah. in particular. Yeah. It's, we always hear advice from oh, men well, yeah. Yeah. of a certain age, age that are giving us financial sure. advice like, saying, invest in this, you should do that, you should mm. do this. However, what are some of the key things in your opinion as a financial advisor that we as young people should be or could potentially be investing in? as wise investments. Because <laughs> a lot of young young ladies and men, you know, I think unfortunately we, we decide, we think, okay, you know, if I have a Gucci bag um, and, and an some, some shoes. <laughs> it's a, no, because some people feel, some people feel yeah. hair is an investment. You yeah. know? However, these are not things that appreciate Gucci bag in value. Yeah. You know, they're not going to appreciate Sorry? in value. Is Gucci bag no investment? No, no it's not <laughs> The value doesn't appreciate, yeah. you know. It, it, it literally, I, you spend you know, it. Yeah. So for me, like, I always want to sort of remove that misconception that what I'm seeing to people is don't spend because mm. that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is spend on Honestly. the things that your income can support mm -hmm. so it's all about finding a ba balance um, I like the good life mm. I like Gucci bags mm -hmm. but I know that if I buy five Gucci bags it means that's taking money away from money that I could be investing in a in an asset that mm -hmm. would actually provide me with an income in the future mm -hmm. so it's about finding you know a balance and not mm. overdoing it, you mm. know, in certain things, because we still have to live. Yeah. With regards to investing yes. for young people, I think um, it depends on what you're investing for. Mm -hmm. So pe there's no fan there's no great safe yeah. investment. Yeah. There's yeah. risk and there's return. Mm -hmm. But I think the beauty about being a young person is we have time. Mm -hmm. We have we have the ability to take on risk because even if so for example if you invest in the stock market mm -hmm. it'll go up it'll go down mm -hmm. there's no need to have a heart attack if you're putting <laughs> yeah. if you're putting money aside that you could forget about mm -hmm. you have to have a long-term sort yeah. of uh, mentality mm -hmm. mentality to it and understand that you know there's some assets that are riskier than others mm -hmm. but they also have the potential mm -hmm. to give you a better return mm -hmm. over time mm -hmm. and we're young we should be aggressive yeah. We, we should be aggressive about our investment. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. I definitely think. I definitely think that, especially if you have an African background and you live in, you know, England mm -hmm. and you're earning foreign exchange, that's another opportunity for you to start investing in Africa. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is, um, countries like Nigeria, where the assets are now at a fundamental discount. Um, it becomes cheaper for you. So mm -hmm. you earn foreign exchange. So you're making like way more than the person in mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You can send money back home to invest in assets that are now, you know, they're a discount. Because but people get worried because mm. uh, for, for like you've just mentioned mm. now the assets are now at the cheaper, ultimate, yeah, yeah. ultimate low. People that invested in it five years ago, ten mm. years ago, now mm -hmm. looking at it, and thinking, saying, why well, should I, I, yeah. I shouldn't yeah. have invested in it. But and there's then people will be taking advice from them thinking, uh, but that's there. the thing like that's the thing about investing people think it's a it's the you never hear from people when they're making returns no when they <laughs> when they're making the money when they you never the hear norm. oh my god I've hit like I've you know I've made mm -hmm. like a 40 percent or 20 percent mm -hmm, return mm -hmm, on this mm -hmm, investment mm -hmm. over a period of time you'll never hear from them but when they've lost it oh you hear from them like <laughs> it's their thing so i think people get very emotional um about investments mm -hmm. the thing is it'll, it went down it'll probably go back up yeah i believe in nigeria up. like i strongly believe in the nigerian economy mm -hmm. i don't like the way it's being run now but, well, but well, I think a whole <laughs> another conversation, kind of conversation. Yeah. but yeah. I think that over yeah. time it'll do well. And mm -hmm. like I said, it's about thinking long term. Oh, Definitely. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah. Now, speaking of long term, we are talking about your book, which mm -hmm. you're having an event for yes. tomorrow, which yeah. is short term. <laughs> I'm so yes. excited. Tell us a little bit about that and how people can be able to so, with you. So <laughs> basically, the event is at GOAT in Chelsea. Mm -hmm. um, the tickets are £40. Mm -hmm. You get a 
book, mm -hmm. cocktails, canapes, mm -hmm. and you get to have conversations with me about money mm -hmm. and, you know, personal finance. And I think it's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. um, investment opportunities in Nigeria. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I it's going to be fun. So, if you, <laughs> <about personal finance. laughs> I love that. Yes. so if, you, if you go on my Instagram page, my handle is at Smart Money Aris there. Mm -hmm. um, the link in my bio tells you how to get tickets. Mm -hmm. oh, Amazing. Yeah. Now, Wonderful. we just showed the, the flyer yeah. on screen. We will definitely show that again. What time does the event it start? It starts at 7 o'clock. Okay, it starts yeah. at 7 o'clock. So, of course, Shop. we yeah. are speaking with no Areze. No Nigerian time. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> no, we're, we're on EU, UK. <laughs> EU time, you know, yeah. so definitely. So the ticket info is on your screens right now. Again, as Areza has just said, it is at GOAT in Chelsea, and I'm trying to see that because my eyes are <laughs> great. But yeah, it's at GOAT in Chelsea, and it I'll starts be, at 7 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you're, if you're sitting at home worried about money like I am thinking, yeah. well, how do I keep my money? Why do I keep <laughs> Why am I, why am I living from paycheck to paycheck? I'm not making it last a little longer. Then you definitely have to go to this event. Do you know another thing? If you want a free ticket, Bella Naija is actually going to be giving out free tickets. Um, oh, fantastic! Today, yeah, today. So, so just what's a broke girl to do? <laughs> go and find out. Exactly. Go yeah. and find out. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Look forward to seeing you guys. Definitely. And before you go, um, if people would like to find out more information about you, apart from social media, how can they find out more um, You can go on my platform, mm -hmm. www.smartmoneyafrica.org, mm -hmm. and you can find out all about me and everything that I do. Wow. Excellent. Fantastic. Areze, thank you so, so much thank for joining so us Thank you so much for morning. having me. And I had so much fun. You. Thank you. <laughs> I really like your colorful. Yes, oh, thank so you. Well, it's from Vaughn, a Nigerian you. designer. She's right. so awesome. Okay. She was like, Arisa, you have to come out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I want you to do you know, something different, because yeah. I wouldn't put this together myself but okay. I, I kind of love yeah, it it's really it's cute yeah really, really great you. ensemble i thought i'd bring trendy. my african yeah <laughs> so i love it That's definitely you yeah yeah definitely right thank you maybe that might be an investment we can always yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely thank you so much for thank joining us thank you so much morning. for having thank you. me so we're going to go for a quick break and after the break we'll be joined by yet another guest that we have in studio and don't go anywhere so get some drinks but don't leave that television Get set. Your <laughs> we'll be back.